Hey everyone, Cheat here, and today I'm bringing you a 100% full game achievement walkthrough for Adios. You can pick it up today for free with Xbox Live Gold. I'm going to run you through the entire game in 30 minutes and show you how to unlock all 25 achievements. The game is very easy and straightforward, so you shouldn't have any issues. However, there are a couple missable achievements, but don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how to unlock everything, and I'll also have timestamps to each of the different achievements if you're just looking for a specific one. Alright, so starting off here, you can press the back button to open up the journal, and then you can close it, and then from there you just have to press the left stick a little bit to move from the bench, and just like that, that'll finish the opening scene. Alright, so first things first, we're going to get the Butcher achievement for feeding the pigs a hearty meal. So turn to the left, and in the van here, you can pick up some meat using the X button. And then turn to the right, and again, use the X button to throw the meat into the pig pen here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get all this meat and feed the pigs. You want to try to be quick since this is a timed section. So for now, just ignore the dialogue with your partner here. Basically, throughout the entire game, your partner is going to be talking to you, and there are different dialogue options that you can choose from. The different dialogue options don't really matter, so personally for me, I'm just going to be choosing the top one up on the d-pad the entire time. But once you feed the pigs all of the meat, and eventually they eat it, that'll unlock the butcher achievement. And then once you have that, we're going to be ready to continue with the game. Alright, so once the achievement unlocks, you can choose the top dialogue option, and then you can spam the left bumper, and that's going to skip through the dialogue, and that's going to help us finish the game way sooner. So I am going to be skipping through all of the dialogue. If you don't want to, you don't have to skip through it, but personally for me, just for the achievement walkthrough, I'm going to skip through as much as I can. So in the next section here again, just spam the left bumper, skip through all of the dialogue, and that'll finish this scene here. If you want, you can eat the eggs, but it's not needed. And again, for the dialogue options, feel free to choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to be spamming up on the d-pad the entire time, but feel free to choose whichever one you want. But next up, we're going to turn around and we're going to get the right on target achievement for hitting our partner with some goat's milk. So head through the gate here, make your way over to the goat shed, and enter through the door. And then from there, we're going to take a seat on the chair here. Again, spam the left bumper and up on the d-pad to skip through all of the dialogue. Well, here's your chance. All right, so eventually we're going to be the milking a goat, you know and once it gives us the opportunity, we're going to use the right trigger to shoot some goat's milk at our partner there, and that'll unlock the on. right on target achievement. But yeah, for now, we're going to have to wait a bit, like but just be ready to get that achievement. Feed all ready for him. Just uh, you take a seat there. Alright, so now use the right trigger to shoot your partner with the milk, and eventually that'll unlock the achievement and end this section. Alright, so now we can exit through the door here, and we're going to head straight across, and we can get the hard worker achievement for shoveling the most dung. So you want to pick up one of these shovels here on the left side, and we're going to shovel a total of six dung into the wheelbarrow here. Try to do as many as you can. The requirement for the achievement is six, but you can do more than six. So just go as quick as you can, try to shovel more dung than this guy here, and then eventually once the wheelbarrow is filled up, you can drop the shovel using the X button, and then you can grab onto the wheelbarrow, and that'll unlock the achievement. So again, once it's full, drop the shovel, interact with the wheelbarrow, and that'll unlock the achievement. And then once you have the achievement, we're going to pause, and we're going to choose the restart scene option, and now we're going to get the fair's fair achievement for shoveling the same amount as our partner. So in order to do that, we need to shovel exactly five piles of dung into the wheelbarrow. So exactly five, no more and no less. So go ahead and do that. Someone's got to do it. Yeah. You know, you you saw the you going somewhere. I was recon. Uh-huh. So once you add the fifth pile to the wheelbarrow, you can just drop your shovel and wait for your partner to finish. And then once he's done, again, we're going to push the wheelbarrow, and that should unlock the Fair's Fair achievement.
Alright, so again, once he's done, interact with the wheelbarrow, and that'll unlock the achievement as long as you shoveled only five piles. And then from there again, pause, restart the scene, and this time we're going to get the lanes Lazy Bones achievement for not shoveling any of the dung at all. So this one's going to take forever. Your partner here is going to shovel all of the dung into the wheelbarrow himself. So again, don't shovel any, and just uh, look around, enjoy the scenery, and eventually he'll finish, and that'll unlock the achievement. All right, so once he's finished, interact with the wheelbarrow. That'll unlock the Lazy Bones achievement. And then once you have all three of those achievements, we can go ahead and finish the scene here by pushing the wheelbarrow forward using the left stick. Just hold it forward, and that'll eventually take you to the destination. And that'll finish the scene. All right, so once we're finished with that, we can start up the next scene by heading into the shack over here. And inside here, we can get two achievements, the bottoms up and a man of taste achievements for throwing two different sodas at the hitman. So head inside here, interact with the soda machine and get the root bear soda up at the top right side. Pick that up. And then from there, you need to throw that into the hitman's right hand. For us, it's going to be his left, so throw that into his hand. If you miss, you can pick it up from the floor and try again, but eventually, once you get it into his hand, that'll unlock the bottoms up achievement, and then from there, we're going to pause, restart the scene, and this time, we're going to do it again, but this time, we're going to get the light blue soda, I believe it is called Slam Clam, and we're going to get that one, throw that one into his hand as well, and that'll unlock the A Man of Taste achievement. What I meant was that it's no fun to just collect them. I, I fix them up. That's where the real fun is. Mm, makes sense. All right, so once you unlock those two achievements there, we can finish the scene by skipping through the dialogue, and then we're going to exit the shack through the door here, and we're going to follow the path off to the left side. And then eventually we're going to head through the gate just over here and we're going to take a left and we're going to play a game of horseshoes and we can unlock the sniper achievement for winning a game of horseshoes. So this one is missable. You want to pick up the horseshoes over on the right side here and throw those off to the middle. Try to get it on the pole there. And up at the top left side, you can see the hitman score or your partner, whatever his name is. I'm not honestly sure. But in order to unlock the sniper achievement, we have to beat him. So just try to do as best as you can. Personally for me, I got around 5,000 score. You can check his score. If he's going to pass you in score, make sure that you pause the game and restart the scene or else you won't unlock the sniper achievement. So you'll probably finish way before he does, but that's a good thing. Just keep an eye on his score. If it looks like he's going to pass you again, just restart the scene and try again and make sure that you win and that'll unlock the sniper achievement.
All right, so just like that, I finished the game of horseshoes and I unlocked the sniper achievement. Now from there, we're gonna head over to the next objective just behind us here and we can pet the horse, wait for him to come over, skip through all of the dialogue. And then after you pet him, you can go ahead and feed him an apple. And again, just continue skipping through the dialogue and that'll finish this scene. All right, so sadly we can't skip through this section here just yet. We need to wait for that guy over there to make his way to us. And then eventually once he gets over here, we can skip through the dialogue and finish this section. A tree's a tree. Remember all them roasted chestnuts at Christmas? Oh, sure, sure. I mean, I kind of figured. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why, is it special to you? This is an American chestnut tree. Oh, hey Saul. Hey. He's telling us about his American chestnut tree. American? What? All right, so in this next scene here, again, just skip through the dialogue, and then eventually the game will give you the objective to pop the hood. In order to do that, you need to interact with the driver's side door right there, so pop the hood, and then from there we can interact with the light on the right side here. Pick that up and hook that to the hood of the car. And then eventually once we get the option two, after you skip through all of the dialogue, you can start the engine by interacting with the driver's side door, and that'll finish this section here. And that'll also unlock the mechanic achievement. Alright, so next up we can get two achievements. We're going to get Ace in the hole for not missing a single shot. So whatever you do, don't shoot the gun or else you won't get the achievement. And we can also get the nice try achievement for trying to shoot the hitman here. So try to shoot him, it won't work, and that'll unlock the nice try achievement. And then from there, we're going to get the ace in the hole achievement for not missing a single shot. So don't shoot your shotgun at all. If you accidentally shot, you can restart the scene. But all you have to do is just skip through all of the dialogue there. That'll end the scene, and it'll automatically unlock the ace in the hole achievement. And then again from there, just skip through this scene here, and we'll get to the next section. And that'll also unlock the story-related achievement called Be Seeing You. Alright, and once we gain control of our character here, we can get the Piano Man achievement. So turn to the right side, head inside the room here, and interact with the piano using the X button, and that should unlock the achievement. And then from there, we're going to get two easy achievements related to making a phone call. So exit the room, make your way down the hallway here, and then enter the second door on the left side. This is the kitchen, and over here next to the oven, we can interact with the phone, and we're going to interact with the sticky note that says Bill, and we're going to call Bill, and then as soon as he answers, we're going to cut the call short, and we're going to hang up on him. So just wait. Once you see the text there that says the boy, quickly hang up on him, put the phone back down, and that'll unlock the cut call achievement. And then from there, pick up the phone again and try to recall him. And that's going to unlock the nothing left to say achievement for getting a busy signal. And eventually, once you unlock that achievement as well, for some reason it took a while to pop for me, we can pick the phone back up, and this time we're going to interact with the other sticky note that says Edith, and we're going to call this chick up, and we're going to skip through all of the dialogue, and that'll finish this section here. Alright, so next up we're going to get four achievements related to listening to tapes and records, so make your way upstairs, enter the first door on the right side here, and inside here, immediately upon entering, you can head straight and pick up the record on the box here. And we're going to place that into the record player right here. 
and then turn to the right and we're going to pick up the tape that's on top of the tape deck on the shelf here and we're going to place that into the deck and now what we're going to do is we're just going to play the waiting game there is a total of four records and four tapes that we have to listen to all the way through you can't like cut it short and take them off and replace them with the other ones you have to wait so it's going to take like five or so minutes so this is kind of the more boring part of the game but thankfully we're going to get four achievements for it so for now, just wait, and then eventually the deck will spit the tape out. That's how you'll know it's done, and then the record will stop spinning, and that's how you'll know that's done as well. And we're also going to get one achievement for listening to a single tape all the way through, and then another one for listening to a record all the way through. So enough talking, I'm going to let these tapes play out. Alright, so eventually you should unlock the Vinyl Vibes achievement for listening to a single record, and then from there you can remove that record and pick up the next one on the cardboard box here. Go ahead and place that one in as well, and then we have to wait for that one to finish, and then you should look over towards the deck, and you'll see that we got the Magnetic Miracles achievement for listening to a single tape. From there you can pick up the red tape on the shelf, load that into the player, and again, let these next two play out as well. Alright, so once the deck spits out the tape, you can pick up the next one on the cardboard box there. Go ahead and load that one up, and then the record should be done as well. Take that off there, and then the next record is up on the shelf just over here. Go ahead and load those up, and then again, continue waiting. Alright, so while we wait, we have nothing else better to do. So if any of you guys are new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe. I just recently hit 9,000 subs, and I'm trying to make that final push up to 10,000. So any new subs would be greatly appreciated. And while you're at it, if the guide has been helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up as well. I'm going to try my best to cover all of the future easy games with gold games, just like this one here, as well as the future easy game pass games. So keep your eyes out for those. But again, if you're new to my channel, I already have hundreds of easy guides. Once that record is done playing, you can pick up the next one on the box there at the end of the bed. Go ahead and load that one up as well, and then wait for the tape to finish. And once that tape there is finished, you can find the final one on the nightstand here next to the bed. Go ahead and load that one up as well. All right, and now I just unlocked the audio file achievement for listening to all of the records in the house. You should unlock that one as well. And then next up, all we have to do is wait for the final tape to play out, and then that'll unlock the tape head achievement. And then finally, once that's done, we'll be done with the records and the tapes, and we can continue playing along with the game here. For whatever reason, this final tape seems like it takes forever.
All right, and finally it's done and that should unlock the tape head achievement. And then once we have that, we're gonna exit the house here, make your way downstairs and then head towards the back door, straight down this hallway here, exit the house and then head straight. And we're gonna make our way through the gate and head back over towards the horse stables. And we're gonna feed the horse some apples again. And then eventually that'll finish this section here. All right, and then once you finish that there, we're gonna make our way back into the house here, and we're gonna head down into the basement, and we're going to interact with the fishing rod on the wall, and that's gonna take us to the next section of the game. All right, so now we're gonna do some fishing here and we can unlock the master commander achievement for catching the admiral fish. So what you can do is you can cast out your line here using the right trigger. When you see ripples in the water, go ahead and pull your line back in. You wanna be careful, pay attention to the tension meter over on the right side. If you're too rough, you'll lose the fish. But once you catch one, go ahead and place it in the cooler there. And then from there, you basically just have to keep fishing over and over again until you catch the Admiral fish. It is random every single playthrough. It may take you three fishes or six, but just keep fishing and eventually you'll catch one really big fish. And you can place that in the cooler and that'll finish this section here. All right, so in this section here, just skip through all of the dialogue, and that'll finish this section here. All right, so next up, we're going to get four achievements related to eating different meals. So make your way down into the basement here and pick up the shotgun on the wall. And then we're going to take the shotgun up to the dining room next to the kitchen, and we're going to place that on the dining room table right inside here place that on the right side of the table just like that if for whatever reason you can't place the shotgun on the table just restart your game it's a little bit buggy but make your way into the kitchen here pick up the knife and then over on the left side of the fridge we can cut up these two potatoes here using the knife and then open up the fridge and we're going to cut the steak the onion and the four carrots on the top shelf there and then we're going to drop the knife and we're going to pick up the steak and we're gonna place this steak in the pan over on the oven on the right side, right here. So place that in there and then turn back to the left and pick up one of the potatoes on the counter. And we're gonna place that in the red pot. And then from there, just pick up the rest of the potatoes, the onion and the four carrots and place all of those ingredients into the red pot. And then once you add all of that, we can get the chicken broth over on the counter here next to the fridge. Pick up that chicken broth and place that in the pot as well. And then go back to that same counter and pick up the middle packet that says hot and death on it. And we're going to add that to the pot as well. And then from there, the final ingredient should be the steak from the pan. Add that into the pot as well. And then interact with the timer here on the top right side of the oven. And that'll finish this section. And then when you spawn, you should have a meal in your hands that looks just like mine here. And we can place that on the table and then have a seat in the chair. And that'll unlock the spicy achievement. And then as soon as you unlock that achievement, you want to pause your game. And we're going to restart the scene. And we're going to make a different meal this time. We have three more meals to make. So restart the scene. And then again, we're going to head down to the basement and we're going to get the shotgun and we're gonna place the shotgun on the table again. And then again, pick up the knife and we're gonna cut all of the vegetables and the steak again. So cut up the two potatoes, the steak, the onion, and the carrots, and then go ahead and add all of the vegetables to the pot and then the steak to the pan. 
And then once all that's done, we're gonna make the recipe slightly different this time. So for now, just go ahead and get everything cooking. All right, and this time we're gonna add the peas from the second shelf of the fridge right here, and then the chicken broth, and then the steak, and that's it for this recipe. And again, once you have everything placed, we can interact with the timer on the top right of the oven. That'll finish this section, and you should now have a delicious stew. And we can take that to the table, place that on the table, and then take a seat in the chair, and that should unlock the hearty achievement as long as you did the recipe correctly. And then again, once you get the achievement, pause, reload the uh, scene here. And now we can get the meaty achievement for making some steak and potatoes. So head back down to the basement, get the shotgun, and again, place that on the dining room table. If for whatever reason you can't place the shotgun, just, just restart your game. Since again, like I said earlier, it's a little buggy, but place that. And then this time, pick up the steak from the fridge, place that directly in the pan, and then pick up the peas from the fridge, place that in the red pot, and then pick up one of the potatoes and place that directly in the microwave and let all of that cook. And then we're going to place the potato into the pot and then grab the steak and place that into the pot as well. And then you can interact with the timer and that'll finish this meal. And then we can take it and place it on the table and then have a seat in the chair. And that should unlock the meaty achievement. And then again, once that achievement unlocks, pause your game and restart the scene. And now we just have one more super easy meal to make. So again, make your way down to the basement, pick up the shotgun, and place that on the table. And as you're going to see here, I actually had to edit the video and restart my game, since for whatever reason the game is buggy and I couldn't place the shotgun on the table, there was no prompt. So again, you'll see an edit, I had to edit that out and restart my game. But this time, we're just going to open up the fridge, interact with the little baggie down here, and pick up the burrito, place that in the microwave, and cook that up. And then once it's done cooking, go ahead and place that on the table and have a seat in the chair and that'll unlock the Taco Toto achievement. And then from there, if you wanna do a quick achievement check, you should just be missing one more achievement and that one is for finishing the game. So go ahead and continue playing here and just wait for a bit and the scene will automatically end. And just like that, that is the end of the game, and that'll unlock your final achievement. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if the guide was helpful. Subscribe if you're new. And adios, friendos. Huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, Chan Spanch1, TimG84, Jax Jags, Stacy Mackey, and my two legend supporters, Niku Noni Oi, and Monarch Reptar.